Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about Venus and Taurus, more specifically how your rising sign can show you the types of gifts that the universe might give to you during this time. So if you're interested in knowing more about that, then stay tuned. So Venus in astrology is a planet that can represent many things, such as like money, assets, and gifts. And whenever Venus transits a house in your chart, it can provide you with a gift or like an opportunity or something that brings you pleasure or luxury into your life, depending on, you know, the transits and aspects, of course. But for the most part, Venus does tend to give you a gift depending on the sign that it's in and depending on which house that it's in in your chart. So this is what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about how your rising sign can show you the types of gifts that you might attract during this transit. So let's talk about it. So first of all, one of the things that I really do like about this transit is that Venus is currently in its own sign of Taurus. So whenever you have a planet that's in its own sign, it feels like it's at home. And because of that, it can give you favorable results. So Venus and Taurus can be a really cute transit, um, especially because, as I mentioned before, Venus can be associated with like your assets, something that brings you pleasure or luxury. It also can represent money. And when Venus enters Taurus, that could also help to amplify that energy because Taurus in astrology is a sign that represents like tangible assets and tangible goods. So like clothes, accessories, money, wealth, all those kinds of things. This is what Taurus regulates and rules over. So when Venus enters Taurus, it can help to amplify and increase your chances of experiencing something that could bring you money, pleasure, comfort, or even luxury as well. So if you're in Aries rising, this means that this particular transit is taking place in your second house. So the universe might give you the gift of money during this time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is because the second house in astrology rules and regulates over like your finances and your assets, more specifically, even like your spending habits as well. So the universe might give you an opportunity or a financial opportunity that could help you to save money. But the only thing I would I would I would definitely advise you on is just be cautious of like impulsive spending and definitely definitely be mindful of expensive purchases during this time. So what I mean by this is like if there's something expensive that you want to buy, do some research on it before you buy it just so that you feel better about the purchase afterwards. But overall, I mean the universe might give you the gift of financial growth and financial opportunities during this time. But even outside of this though, the universe might give you the gift of like self-esteem and confidence. So there might be very insightful experiences that you have during this time that make you recognize and realize your worth. So that could also be a fantastic and beautiful gift that the, that the universe gives to you uh, during this Venus and Taurus transit. This might also be a time where the universe might gift you the opportunity to get new clothes, accessories, perfumes, jewelry, necklaces, just things that make you feel better about yourself physically and materially. So this, this might be a quite nice time for that area of your life. So, you know, if you want to like get some new stuff or attract some new clothes, or just things that'll help you to feel better about yourself, I definitely would advise you that you do that. Now, if you're a Taurus rising, this indicates that the universe might give you the gift of more attention, more recognition, more compliments, and more adoration. This is because this particular transit is taking place in your first house and the first house rules and regulates over yourself. And then Venus in astrology can be associated with like adoration, appreciation and compliments and beauty. So you might get more compliments this month. More people might just be like really gravitating towards your energy and just like telling you things that just help you to feel better and more beautiful. <laughs> this might also be a time where you might also feel more beautiful and just feel more radiant, you know? Also, Taurus Risings, I definitely would advise you that you wear more green this month. That could also help you to attract like more good luck as well. But but yeah, I definitely would recommend that you incorporate more green into your life. I feel like that could just not only help you to attract more good luck, but it can also help you to feel happier too. So definitely something to, to, to incorporate more. Plus, I mean, even, even wearing green might even help you to get more compliments and attention, especially for maybe someone that you're you're eyeing or someone that you have a crush on. <laughs> but yes, anyways, I hope that you enjoy this Venus and Taurus transit, my Taurus risings. I hope that it treats you well and I hope that you prosper and succeed. Gemini risings, hello, hello. I'm a Gemini sun, I'm not a Gemini rising, but we connect. I feel you, you feel me. <laughs> Gemini risings are having this particular transit in their 12th house. So this might be a really nice time to spend money on pampering yourself. And the universe might give you the opportunity 
to have those types of relaxing and uh, very healing experiences. So this could be a time where you might receive an opportunity to go to the spa, get your nails done, get your feet done, like get, get a pedicure, you know, just utilize this time to just really focus on going inward and treating yourself kindly and just focusing on finding beauty from within. I feel like that could just be a really great way to spend this transit. And I feel like you might receive gifts during this time that just help you to connect with yourself in a very spiritual way and a very and also in a very healing way as well. So this just might be a time of rejuvenation. So embrace it. This could also be a time where the universe might give you the opportunity and the chance to travel or just like visit places that are very spiritual and very beautiful and also just very healing as well. This might also be a time where you might receive an opportunity to get new shoes, new pajamas, new sleepwear, and just things that really help you to feel more relaxed and at ease. Again, this could also be a fantastic time to spend money on things that help to spiritually heal you. So this could be a great time to maybe like book a consultation with a spiritual advisor, a tarot reader, an astrologer, even like a therapist as well. Like utilize the money that you might attract during this time on people or things that just help you to feel more whole and help you to heal yourself from maybe like a past experience that might have left you feeling sad or you know, depressed or just not very happy. But on the on the brighter side of things though, this could be a time and a transit where you might receive an opportunity or an experience that just helps your soul to feel better. So again, just use this time for a lot of spiritual and self-development. It might pay off a lot. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this Venus and Taurus transit. Remember to be kind to yourself and try to enjoy this transit as much as you can. Bye. Cancer Risings, ooh, my goodness. I have been literally texting my Cancer Rising friend like since, okay, well, this is not even, this is kind of related, unrelated, but I've been like texting her about this time during this year. And I'm like, girl, like you better be on your stuff. Like you better be networking and putting yourself out there because the financial opportunities that you guys might be attracting during this time might be really nice. Cancer Risings, you are having this Venus in Taurus transit in your 11th house. And the 11th house in astrology governs over like your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your incoming gains, incoming financial gains and financial opportunities. The 11th house also regulates and rules over networking. So putting yourself out there this month can be a fantastic way to attract more abundance and money into your life especially. But in terms of a gift though, this could be a time where the universe might gift you new connections, new friends, new people in your life, especially people that help you to feel, feel more valuable and appreciated and acknowledged. So that, that could be cute. Um, this could also be a time where the universe might give you financial opportunities as well. So again, this transit might be really nice for y'all. So please use this time to your advantage and really put yourself out there because that could help you to attract opportunities that could you know, bring you a lot of great things. But yeah, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this transit. It might be really nice, so definitely pay attention to it. And bye! Leo Risings, hello, hello. So during this Venus and Taurus transit, the universe might gift you career opportunities or just like more recognition and attention, possibly even a little bit of fame too. So this might just be overall a nice transit and a time for like your public image, your career, those types of things. Uh, there might be like an increase in this area of your life. So that's just something that you should pay attention to. Like even in regards to business as well, this could be a time like, especially if you do have a business where like you, your business might receive more attention and recognition, or you just might make more money uh, through your business. So that could also be quite nice as well. Leo Risings might also attract career opportunities that could help them to make more money as well. So. Venus and Taurus might be cute for y'all. I like that. Anyways, I hope that this transit treats you well. I hope that you enjoy this time and definitely embrace the energy if you can. Virgo Risings, hello, hello. So Virgo Risings are having this transit in their ninth house. The ninth house governs over things like long distance travel, spiritual enlightenment, hope, like optimism, good luck, good fortune, those types of things. So this Venus and Taurus transit might gift you traveling opportunities or more lucky opportunities that could also help you to bring in money into your life as well. Um, this could also gift you the literal gift of like feeling hopeful or optimistic or happier or just more grateful. So I would definitely definitely incorporate things into your life right now that just help you to feel happier and more optimistic because that could just get the ball going. That could help you to get yourself in a vibration of like more happiness and optimism and like, again, gratitude. And that's a really great vibration to operate from. So 
just like incorporate more things that just make you feel happier um and also even do other things like go on go on adventures travel more during this time and it doesn't even necessarily have to be like a place that's around the world it could just be also like going on an adventure to somewhere that you haven't been to before so maybe that could also be like a more cost-effective way to travel and explore the world or just like explore new things or, or have more adventures um so i definitely recommend that you do that because you might have some very beautiful uh experiences during this time that just help you feel happier so definitely embrace the energy anyways guys i hope that you enjoy this transit uh be mindful of it and enjoy it as much as you can bye libra risings hello hello so y'all are having this transit in your eighth house which can indicate that the universe might gift you positive changes during this transit and during this time so this could be a time of your life where you might experience some type of positive change that helps you to feel happier or just helps you to feel more valued or just helps you to recognize like your self-worth or just helps you to feel again happier and just more content this could also be a time where the universe might gift you unexpected financial opportunities as well even outside of this though this could be a time where like certain aspects of your values and your morals might change so there might have been some type of like negative or unhealthy value that you were holding on to that you finally let go of in exchange for something else that helps you to feel better about yourself or just like better about your life in general so positive changes and just overall rebirth transformation and drastic changes might be something that you experience during this time also your love life might get a little spicy during this time i mean i don't want to say too much i don't want to say too much because i want to keep it pg-13 but you know your love life might get a little spicy during this time also be mindful of karmic people during this time all right like be mindful of that there might be someone in your life that might come around and it might not necessarily be the like the healthiest of a dynamic so just be mindful of that but you know on the bright side of things though love life might get a little spicy so pay attention to that <laughs> girl might be a little spicy during this time just telling you just saying just saying <laughs> Anyways, Libra Risings, I hope that you enjoy this transit. Uh, have the best time that you can and uh, embrace the energy. Scorpio Risings, hello, hello. So during this Venus and Taurus transit, the universe might gift you the gift of romance, relationships, or new friends. Because the seventh house in astrology can be associated with like relationships, partnerships, and your best friends or people that you become friends with that can turn into your best friends. Um, so the universe might gift you that. The seventh house can also be associated with like business partnerships and sponsorships. So, you know, if you're an influencer or you're someone that wants to be an influencer or you, you're just someone that owns your own business, uh, this could be a time where the universe might gift you the gift of new people that can make your business more money or help to help your brand to make more money as well this could also be a time where the universe might gift you the gift of attention and recognition especially from people that don't know you because the seventh house in astrology can be associated with like the masses it also can be associated with like people that, that don't know us and the relationship that we have with the public so this could be a time where like some of y'all might find yourself being in the public eye being a little bit in the spotlight as well so that could be cute because that could also help to open up financial opportunities as for you guys as well so that could be that could be quite nice so embrace the energy anyways i hope that this transit treats you well embrace the energy and try to have a good time anyways i'll talk to you later bye sagittarius risings hello hello so sagittarius risings are having this transit in their sixth house the, the sixth house governs over like workplace environment jobs your daily routine weekly routine health and wellness those types of things so this could be a time where the, where the universe might gift you more career opportunities or the universe might gift you something that could help your like your day-to-day -day life or like your weekly your weekly routines or like your daily routines just be easier and more enjoyable so again there just might be something that you attract into your life that helps your day-to-day -day life to be easier in certain ways so that could be nice oh and the sixth house also governs over pets as well so the universe might gift you a chance and an opportunity to get a pet or something for your pet as well so that's that's cute i like that a lot um the universe might also gift you the opportunity to get something or have access to something that could improve like your overall health and wellness as well um so that could be quite nice so yeah overall um there just might be like little things that the universe might give to you during this time that can just make your day-to-day -day life easier and more enjoyable so enjoy the transit as much as you can and embrace the energy i hope that you enjoy this time and we'll chat later bye
Capricorn Risings, hello, 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 my fellow Capricorn Risings. I'm a Capricorn Rising, so hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so this Venus and Taurus transit is taking place in your fifth house. Uh, the fifth house governs over like speculative investments, like stocks, day trading, crypto, like also all, all those types of things. So this could be a time in your life where you might make money through those things. Uh, the fifth house also governs over like lottery as well. So uh, this could be a time of your life where like you might make some money through lottery. But again, this is not financial advice. Okay, I am not advising that you do any of these things because all of these things are risky and you have to play it safe and be responsible. But again, just talking to you about the astrology, okay? Uh, you might possibly be able to make money or attract opportunities in these sectors. But again, be mindful, play it safe, and never risk or spend money that you're not willing to lose. <laughs> But on top of that though, uh, the fifth house also does govern over like relationships and dating. So this could be a time of your life where the universe might gift you some love, it might, gi might gift you someone that woos you and sweeps you off your feet. <laughs> the fifth house also governs over that stuff. So, you know, <laughs> some of y'all might get it on during this time. Like some of y'all might get some action, woo! So yeah, so that might be a like, cute little gift that the universe might give to you as well. So be mindful of that. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my. Um, but yeah, this, this, this might be quite nice. But, but you know what though, just to be more serious though, uh, the fifth house also does govern over like art and creativity. So uh, this could be a time where the universe might give you creative opportunities that you can use that can make your life more enjoyable, a lot more happy. Uh, you also might even be able to attract creative opportunities that might help you to make more money. So uh, there is that. So I think that could also be quite cute for y'all. But yeah, anyways, guys, enjoy this transit. Have fun. You know, do more creative things during, during this time. Go to concerts. Enjoy yourself. You know, listen. find some new music to listen to. You know, just do more fun and creative things. It just might bring a lot more joy into your life and just help you to feel happier overall as a person. Capricorn Risings might also be able to attract opportunities to travel, more specific, more specifically maybe go on vacation somewhere because the fifth house in astrology can be associated with like resorts or vacations. So the universe might gift you that. The universe might gift you a chance and the opportunity to be able to afford a vacation or just go somewhere else. That's really beautiful and really uh, aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoy this transit, you know, embrace the energy and try to have a good time. Bye! Aquarius Risings, hello, hello! So during this particular transit, uh, you will have Venus transiting your fourth house. The fourth house governs over like your home, your family, your parents, things like that. So during this transit, the universe might give you the chance and the opportunity to get new things for your home, or the universe might bless you and your family financially, or in other ways, it just brings more like pleasure and happiness into your life. So there is that. Uh, but more specifically though, uh, during this time, you might be able to attract opportunities to get new furniture, new appliances, or just other things for your home that can make it more aesthetically pleasing, beautiful, or comfortable. This could also be a time where some of you might even like receive money that could help you to save up for a home or move out or just like move somewhere else. So there is that. So I do like that. This could also be a time where the universe might give you the chance and the opportunity to visit some really nice restaurants because the fourth house governs over restaurants and food. So some of y'all might be eating real nice during this time, so enjoy it. Enjoy this transit, enjoy the food, enjoy enjoy the simple pleasures of life, you know? I feel like this is gonna be a really, a really nice time for that. But yeah, guys, enjoy this transit, you know? Focus on your comfort, focus on your emotional needs, and, you know, incorporate that with your material needs. I feel like that could just be a really great way to navigate this time and navigate this transit. But yeah, enjoy it, and we'll chat soon. Bye! Pisces Risings, hello, hello! Y'all are last, but certainly not least. So during this Venus and Taurus transit, uh, this particular transit is taking place in your third house. The third house governs over many things like marketing, advertising, writing, journalism, all those kinds of things. So if you work within those fields, the universe might give you an opportunity to succeed or prosper within these fields. Um, the third house also governs over like social media and the internet. So this could be a time where some of you might attract an opportunity to make money or find success like working in social media or doing something online. This could also be a time where the universe might gift you something for your car because the third house also like governs over like vehicles and transportation. So 
That could also be something that you attract during this time. The third house also regulates and rules over short distance travel or short travels in general. So this could also be a time where some of you might go some go on some very beautiful trips that are just short lived, but very beautiful. Now, the third house astrology also rules and regulates over your siblings. So this could also be a time, a quite a nice time for, for maybe like your siblings, more specifically like your younger siblings. So this could be a time where like your siblings, more specifically your, your younger siblings might attract an opportunity or a gift that helps their life to be more comfortable or you know brings like pleasure into their life as well so there is that um but yeah that's something that you should be mindful of too now on top of that this particular transit might gift you the gift of knowledge information and new skills so definitely focus on being as open-minded as possible during this time learn as much as you can because the information that you learn during this time could be used as leverage to attract more favorable things into your life for a future date and for a future time but yeah guys uh enjoy this transit embrace it because there could be some really nice gifts that you attract during this time that are quite lovely anyways enjoy this time and we'll chat later bye anyways guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video i just wanted to make this short simple and straight to the point uh again venus and taurus might be really nice uh venus is also currently conjunct to the north node so you know that in of itself might be really cute for y'all and it just might be quite nice i mean also as of right now like venus is, is like screen pluto and like sex house saturn but still i mean that could still render positive results in certain ways like with venus square pluto that could be a time where like the universe really pushes you and nudges you to like you know make a necessary change in your, in your life and because of making that decision to make that necessary change you might be gifted something in return uh venus is also currently sextiling saturn saturn represents like the longevity of something or something that has a strong foundation or something that can build gradually over time so this could be a really great transit for like attracting opportunities that could help your life to sustain itself or get better slowly and steadily so there is that but overall venus and taurus it's a cute transit it's a cute it's a cute time so embrace the transit have some fun and enjoy the energy anyways guys i will chat with you later i will talk to you soon and uh i'll see you in the next video don't forget to comment like and subscribe by the way do not forget okay i'm trying to build up my youtube account so don't leave it go hanging <laughs> anyways we'll chat later love you bye